Hi, this is Sandy with Enamel It. I'm going to show you how to make your own color chips for reference with Enamel It. What I've got laid out here, oops, wrong one. I've got my hot plate. It's running between low and medium. I have a little pie pan over here to place it once it comes off of the hot plate so that it can cool. My Enamel It. I've got our tools that come in our beginner kit, the Teflon sheet, a little lifter, my sifter, my holder, great holder, and my pickup comb. And then I've got some samples here. So in our beginning kit, it comes with the standard primary colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, white, and clear. And let's say um, I, I have the red. I ordered a red. Whenever you order a color from us, we automatically include one of these little metal chips. We were doing them ourselves and then we thought, you know what, it would be better for you to do it because it gives you a chance to work with the color and see how it reacts. And then you can um, also use them for sample colors or mixed colors. So in the kit, like I said, you get the primary colors and maybe I don't want the red and I don't want the, the bright orange and I don't want the bright yellow. Maybe I want a red orange or a yellow orange or something like that. Well, the colors are literally infinite because you can take the red and you can take the yellow and you can mix your own. And that's what I've done with this one here. And you can see I prefer to put them in these little condiment cups. That way I can mix it up. I also refer to what I've done. So I've put the red and the yellow together. I put two parts of red, one part of yellow to create my own custom color. I don't have a sample for that yet. Like I said, when you order your color, you automatically get a disc. So I'm going to show you here how to easily make your own sample colors. So I pick up my sifter, level off the top, and then I just go above my item and softly tap and give it a nice even coat. Now this I can recycle right back into the container. So anything left over, I'll just dump right back into there. I'll lift it up with my little pick. I'll put my Teflon sheet on. That protects my hot plate from getting enamel on it in case I have a project that I accidentally bump. And again, it's running at between low and medium. And we'll just watch it cure out here. Now you're gonna get different results when you cure enamel it. Full cure is 350 to 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. You, you can mix your colors and then cure it like what I'm doing here, or you can layer colors. And depending on how long you leave each layer will depend on the results that you get. So here it is curing out. I don't know if you can see it. Let me tilt the camera so you can see that it's become a liquid state. If I leave this on for a full 10 minutes, what happens is those molecules bond together and it basically becomes a permanent bond. So again, it depends on how long you leave it. If it's something that I know I want to cure out, a lot of times I'll just take a lid and put it on top to contain the heat in there. And then I'll just turn my, my heat plate off and just let it sit and cool. In this case, it's done. So I'm gonna transfer it. You can either pick up the Teflon sheet, or if you are a little afraid of the heat, which it's not hot, you can use your spatula that comes with a kit. And I'm just putting it right over here. I could leave it on the Teflon sheet or just transfer it right over onto my, my cookie sheet, basically, just a place for it to cool. And there it is. Now what I do is I use a little glue dots, which is what this is. I just pick it up at a craft store. Walmart probably has it too. And I just placed the dot right on top of here and this believe it or not is already cool to touch I'll just place it right on top of my glue dot and then I've got a permanent example of what that color is going to look like and again this is all recyclable I have a little piece of paper that I, I did it on so that I can just literally tap it put it back into the container and reuse it if you have any questions email us at enamelit, E-N-A-M-E-L-I-T, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.